We're joined now by Jennifer, who's going to tell us her story for the very first time. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I was 19 when I found out I was pregnant. I hadn't had a period in a little while, but I wasn't worried because I was on the pill. One day I just decided to take a pregnancy test and pretty much as the pee hit it, it turned overwhelmingly positive. There was no, no two ways about it. I was mm -hmm. pregnant. The moment I saw that plus on the pregnancy test, I knew I was gonna have an abortion. It wasn't a hard decision, it wasn't a trial. I just knew that I wasn't gonna have a pregnancy right then. I was able to get an appointment within about five days, which was good luck. I was in Florida at the time, and um, I didn't really know much about abortion. I didn't know much about the procedure. What I knew is that I didn't wanna be pregnant. On the day of the abortion, I worked in the morning. Um, I didn't feel very well. I hadn't been able to eat much in the last couple weeks. I didn't realize it had been morning sickness, but I guess it was. And um, I went to the clinic with my boyfriend at the time, and uh, they separated us very quickly. And I had to go back and I had to watch a video about the consequences of abortion. The next thing that happened was I had to change into a hospital gown and take off my underpants and I was left in a room with everybody else who was getting an abortion that day. There were probably about 18 of us or so. We were all sitting on a long bench on either side of a room and we're all in hospital gowns without underpants. It was a really humbling experience and I remember thinking, why does it have to be this way? Why can't it be just like a medical appointment? While we were sitting there, everybody started to talk about their reasons for having abortions, which I guess is a thing that would happen. And one of the things that really struck me was that almost everybody in the room besides me was already a parent. Mm. I remember at the time being kind of judgmental about that, mm. thinking, well, of course I'm pregnant by accident because I'm 19, but these people should know better. When it became my time for the abortion, it was probably about two or three hours after sitting in that room, and I went into the procedure room and the doctor turned on the ultrasound machine and narrated an ultrasound and made sure I listened to the heartbeat. And overwhelmingly, what I was thinking was, why am I being punished? Mm. I didn't understand why I had to look at an ultrasound or why I had to hear the heartbeat or why it, the anatomy had to be narrated to me. And at the time, I thought, why would this doctor perform abortions if he's so clearly anti-abortion? Um, when the procedure was over, I woke up and I felt an overwhelming sense of relief. I didn't feel guilt, I didn't feel upset, I just knew I'd made the right decision. The next day I went back to work and I felt amazing. My morning sickness was gone, everything was amazing. But what stuck with me was a misunderstanding of why the procedure had been so hard and why it hadn't been like going to a doctor, just a normal doctor's appointment. And over the next 10 years or so, I really internalized the fact that um, abortion was a bad thing. And I told a lot of people a story of my abortion, of how I had to have it. And I really, because of that process of being what I thought was shamed into, into my procedure, I, I really internalized that. I, when I was 28 or so, became active in abortion advocacy. And it was only after I became active that I realized that what I experienced was a legal state script and that the doctor had to tell me those things. And that was what was part of getting the procedure. And what I realized was that nobody should be in the shoes that I was in not understanding what's going on and, and feeling so shamed. Um, I f that shame stayed with me for a decade and it took, it took me really understanding the law to finally overcome that. And 
I just can't stand the idea of anybody being like me and not knowing why that's happening. A couple years ago, I was pregnant with a very much wanted pregnancy. And I went to my first appointment and I found out that the pregnancy was not viable. And so I had to have a DNC, an abortion. And when I went, they read me a um, script saying I was stopping a beating heart. And had I not been through the experience I'd been through earlier in life, I would have thought I was being punished again. Mm -hmm. Luckily, when I had that therapeutic abortion, the one I needed to end that pregnancy, I f already knew that there were state scripts and that's how it was. And yeah. so that's driven me to, to want everybody else to understand that. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And the connections to what Jane Doe was experiencing are so obvious too, with her being forced to have to do all, endure all the same things, Absolutely. plus court and everything else. So thank you for joining us and fighting back so with much. us.